Above's Greg Circle reports the man who made a return trip to space at age 77 returned to New York for another ticker tape parade in his honor. Godspeed, John Glenn. It seemed a fitting encore for a 77-year-old who had defied Father Time to again reach for the stars. And John Glenn was all smiles as New Yorkers showered him with confetti and praise 36 years after his first trip through the Canyon of Heroes. For anyone to uh, accomplish the feat of going back into space at 77 years old, in my book, deserves a ticket tape parade. It was truly a celebration that spanned the generations. Jim Fitzpatrick was just a kid when John Glenn orbited the Earth in 1962. On this day, he brought his own children to commemorate the second trip. We came down here to see what we didn't, what I didn't see in 1962, which I wish my father would have brought me down. One sign along the parade route may have truly captured the feeling of this day. It said, thank you, Senator Glenn, for teaching us that the impossible is possible. John Glenn's six other crewmates from Shuttle Discovery joined him on the parade route, as did a proud marching band from the Elwood Long Island High School that bears Glenn's name. It's a pretty good feeling. We, we represent, you know, an American legend. New York's mayor concluded the grand day by giving the Discovery astronauts the keys to the city, and John Glenn said thanks. If what we have done can be in any way used as an inspiration, then all of our efforts will have been worthwhile. In Manhattan, Greg Sergal, News 12. Uh, what a ride it's been, huh? Yeah. John Glenn also finds his way into more record books. Only Amelia Earhart, former President Eisenhower, and former Ethiopian, oh, Ethiopian President Haile Selassie have also been honored with more than one ticker tape parade. All right, and while we don't want to rain on anyone's parade, there is one Long Islander who says John Glenn's march down the Canyon of Heroes today wasn't complete. The Deer Park man says the parade organizers were trying to recreate as much of the 62 parade as possible. They should have invited him. News Trail's Rose Walia is at Harry Carter's home right now. Rose, what kind of role did Mr. Carter play in Glen's Parade 36 years ago? Well, Scott, Harry Carter says he was one of the driving forces behind the parade in 1962, and he's got all the proof in the world to back it up. We have the pictures of the ticket tape parade. From when? Um, uh, 1962, Colonel Glenn. 68-year-old Harry Carter of Deer Park was a chauffeur in parades in New York for 20 years before he retired in 1975. His fondest memories stretch back to 1962 when he drove John Glenn through the streets of New York for a ticker tape parade after Glenn's successful journey into orbit. It was so cold out, we only had one pair of gloves between the three of us in the front seat, so we were passing back and forth. But uh, it was really a big... Uh, a lot of fun memories. Uh, oh, yeah. But when Harry Carter read this article in the Daily News, which named a former New York police officer as the chauffeur for Glenn in the 62 parade, he was understandably upset. I had the proof that I drove, and I was interviewed for that. And then when I saw the article in the Daily News saying that, uh, that this cop's father was, was in the, uh, drove in the parade, I was uh, a little uh, offended by it. Carter immediately called City Hall to find out where the misinformation came from. And their response? They said, well, we didn't put the story out like that. And uh, uh, they apologized, you know, that, uh, that I didn't get an invite. But they didn't know about it. The Carter's family and friends who have seen or read the false reports have been calling all day, trying to figure out what was happening. He called me up and he said, who is this guy driving the car? I said, I, I have no idea. This is an ongoing story. He said, I'm watching this and they're showing clips of your father in the 1962 parade and then they're showing clips of the new show for today and everyone's assuming that it's his son as if they're saying. And I said, well, to my knowledge, I have no brothers. So who drove John Glenn during today's parade? Well, City Hall officials said it was police officer Thomas Hellenin, whose father gave John Glenn a tour of New York in 1962. In Deer Park, Rose Wallia, News 12, Long Island. All right, thank you, Rose. Now we know.